Oh my gosh, it has turned winter in Texas. Out of here, mosquito. Ready for those little punks to die. Anyway, it's chilly right now. Holy moly. I'm finishing, so I've got the roof to do, and I'm finishing like, you know, these last little <laughs> edges of areas that need to be wet standed, and then we're gonna pull it into the paint booth. Good evening. Okay, Aaron and I actually have not been working in our shop today, but it's late, it's dark outside. We haven't had dinner. I'm eating a peanut butter cookie that I made the other night. Proud of myself, I made cookies. That was kind of good, right, babe? Real good. <laughs> Wife points. Wife points. Okay, so um, we have some high build primer to shoot on different areas of the car. Little dents that we hated that we decided we were going to go back and fix. And now we're going to shoot some primer on them so that we can actually shoot the car tomorrow again. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm going to make Aaron do it, though. So nothing on me. Just got a really awesome shipment in of shirts. Love. These things are so soft and nice. The brand is really good. Sweet. Now we're going into a Napa with a very dirty windshield. More paint. This color. To paint the Nova. Again. Everyone wants to know what the code is. We're about to go find out. We had lost a receipt, so. We're gonna go match it up and we'll let you know soon. <laughs> Did it match? That one. Yep, yep. I think that's it. Thanks, Ricky. No problem. Home sweet home. We're used to seeing you in the shop. <laughs> Ricky works at Napa and then he comes to our shop and wrenches around with us. go. Got another box full of paint. I see you changed your shirt, babe. I did. We got more shirts in. Yay! Where's our dog? Pooping. <laughs> there guess. he comes. Good boy. We got her all taped up, all the paper in places we don't want to paint. Now it's time to roll the car into the paint booth. This is awesome! do a good paint job this time. Oh. <laughs> Is that your move every time I point a camera at you now? Yep. I'm just going to dab it up. <laughs> what do you guys think? Yeah? Yeah? You think so? You think it's going to be good? I'm pumped. And Max just got us tacos. Yes. Let's eat some tacos. That's a lot of cheese in your beard, Ricky. I need you being cheesy. <laughs> I need you being cheesy. I'm trying to make some A. Made an A for a second. Food break a never taco. hurt anybody. I'm ready to see it done. Me too. We have a fairly well lit paint booth. 
Our fans are pulling air. We got light from above, from the side. We got one back there, I don't have it on yet. <laughs> light, 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 light. Oh my goodness, is this gonna be good? Wow, kinda nervous. What's happening? <laughs> okay, so we were told that you should put a chain around the front or rear axle in order to ground the car when painting metallics. We don't see anything against it, so we did it. We'll see. Aaron's testing the spray of the gun and he thinks he likes it, so hopefully we're set. A respirator on and get legit. <laughs> Ricky's dabbing. This is really hardcore. So we have two fans pulling air from the back of the booth, but it's not enough. And I'm peeking in here and looking at how clouded the booth is getting. Look at this. When, when I walked in, it was like super hard to keep my eyes open because of all the yep, paint. Yeah, burning. So bad. Right down the fender, it's like patchy. Is it supposed to be? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine or anything. Oh, it is so foggy in there, and Aaron cannot see to paint, and his eyes are burning like crazy because of the thickness of the paint in the air. So, against everyone, most everyone, um, suggesting to pull the air out. We just don't know if we have enough flow, so we're gonna push through the clean filters on the other side that previously were only coming through with fresh air. So hopefully we can clean some of this crazy thickness out of here and not blow trash all over the paint. We'll see. Such a crazy time. Oh my gosh. So, we got the booth all cleared out, but Aaron is feeling freaking pooped. Yep, I'm tired. It's not going well. The booth is building up a bunch of um, fog in there, basically. And I'm also getting some water on the paint, so I'm pretty frustrated right now. I've drained the compressor. I've drained the, there's a, a filter on, a water filter on there. I've drained it, <laughs> and I put a new silicon filter on the gun but it's, it's leaking before it gets to the gun out of the actual air fitting. And so what I'm gonna have to do is just take a rag and wrap it around it and tape it. That usually takes care of it. I just forgot to do it, but so I got a few drips. Fortunately, it just wiped right off. It wasn't a big deal, but it still kind of pisses you off when you put in that much work trying to make it perfect. So I gotta take Emily to the airport tomorrow. She's gonna be there at noon. So I'll come back after that, set the camera up for you guys, and then we'll get this thing shot. And hopefully it'll go good this time. Mm. We'll see. So far it's laying down really nicely. But it's just the fog in the booth. I can hardly see. After we turn the fans away, it seemed to evacuate it pretty well. And so we'll try that tomorrow. If that doesn't work, I'll go buy more fans and just move the air out however I can. It's, uh, I don't know, 10 o'clock-ish. Maybe it's only 8, but it feels like 10. <laughs> and so we're done. I just can't do it anymore. I got to quit for the night. It is what it is. It's Sunday. We did not get the car painted last night, as you've probably already seen by this point. And today I dropped Emily off the airport about a couple hours ago. And now I'm back here at the shop. I did a test spray with our gun earlier with just some paint thinner in it. And I'm still not liking the way it's laid down. So here's what we did. I went to Lowe's and bought a brand new gun. Hopefully this is gonna lay it down a little bit smoother because that pigment, the, uh, excuse me, the mica that's in that paint is just so hard to get to lay evenly. So we're gonna give this guy a try. Hopefully it gives us a bigger spread and we'll see how it does. Okay, it looks like my final coat of base coat is on because I'm out of paint. So I guess I have to be done. Every time I do it, it looks a little bit uneven, but it's probably okay. I'm just a little bit nervous now. Let me show you what we got.
yeah, it's either going to be good or it isn't. I've done everything I can possibly do. It's got probably 10 coats of paint on it. The last three were very light, just kind of dusting the top of everything, trying to even that mica out and make it lay down smooth. But this is it, man. I'm about to put some clear on it. Hopefully it goes well. We will see. I'm excited. Okay, so we definitely have some junk in the paint. Kind of minor. Most of it looks really good. But you can see right in there, there's just a few pieces of dirt and junk like that. But I've got so many coats of clear on here, that shit's going to buff out and be pristine. So I'm happy. I'm jacked. We had to work for this one. You know, sometimes things work out easily and sometimes they don't. This one did not. But we stayed persistent and we got it done. So, I'm excited to get it buffed out for you guys and show you the final product. The paint looks so good. It's been awesome getting the updates from Erin. I'm on day three with one of my favorite clients, Cabela's. We are in South Carolina, shooting on location, and it's a good day. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'm so excited to get home and get more footage of the Nova and start sanding it and seeing that beautiful paint come to life. I'm excited. Have a good day.